Hello everybody, welcome back to more Diablo 3 Hardcore. Hardcore! Let's go to... Cemetery of the Forsaken, I guess. Fields of Misery. I always like... This section of the game is always, like, falling out of my memory. But yeah, we got a, we got a little bit of ways to go before the end of Act 1. But I think we should be at a point where we're, like, really, really strong for a little bit. Forever, I don't know, but for the time being, I bet you we're gonna be real strong. I didn't even use this move on Skeleton King. What is wrong with me? Did we just summon a... This guy, because, uh... The other thing doesn't have, like, anything that can run around. What am I trying to say? The, uh, the big hive. I could have sworn this corpse came from that. Ooh. Ooh, I want this guy. Oh, that's awesome! Look at that! It makes him into a skeleton, and he actually knocks him back. We should be, like, kind of smart about which corpses we take. And look how fast we're leveling up now. This is insane. All right, summon, summon, summon. Ice Golem rune? That sounds really fun. Oh my god! Guys, this is so exciting. Increase duration of your skeletal mage and revive minions. I, I want that. Yeah, let's do that instead of that one. Slowed when you siphon them. Damage turns into cold. Let's, let's be a frost mage. Slurp, 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 slurp. Okay. This is the slurpy move. Kazra Dan. I had a couple, like, off-camera characters die uh, doing this part. Come on, Treeman. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This is, this is just so fun. I've... This character just is truly been ported like beautifully. Oh, I'm I'm in love. Like it it's just exactly everything I, I wanted. I was like I was skeptical a bit about uh ooh, ooh that could have been bad. About, you know what ooh, the necromancer's coming out as its own thing. Like after all this all this time. The, the one thing that's being added is just one character. I was skeptical at first, but now I'm just so excited. And look at how fast we're leveling up. We're leveling so fast that I don't even have time to... Pick my skills. Heck, the skills are barely, like, not even uh, done moving on the screen by the time... Uh, the next uh, level happens, because that just showed up. Or ooh, just stopped. Alright. The old man. But like I said, we're going to be really strong for a little while. Until we fall off again. This game is all about, like, power spikes. And knowing when, uh, like, up to level 70, knowing when you got to be careful. But we're going to be... Halfway to 70 any minute now. Not true. We got a little bit of a ways to go, but I'm really liking that frost move. Oh. This is this is satisfying. And it, it's a lot more active than I thought it would be. Like, summoning classes have this tendency to, to fall into a boring, inactive category. Bone Spear Rune, activate Shatter. Alright. But yeah, I mean, I want to take a little bit to, to look <laughs> at all of our abilities soon. But for right now, I kind of just want to keep on trucking. I got the, uh... I don't know. It feels like it's... We're able to keep our uh, chain going right now, and I think it's due to our allies? If so, that's a really, really nice benefit of being a necromancer. so you can keep the, the kill chain going. If you're not familiar, like, you do get an experience bonus based off of, um, how many enemies in a row you can kill. It doesn't look like the allies, okay, never mind. 
immediately debunked. The allies don't get any, uh, don't add on to it. Devour rune ruthless. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be so overwhelmed when I decide it's time to look at my all my skills I just unlocked. Not enough Dislocation. It'll be fun though. At the same time. We are in the correct area. I just go get them, guys. I'm gonna spawn some new new pals for you. I'm gonna bring your new brothers home. I really like uh, summoning the tree treeman, the Ents. Level thirty, there it is. I will add a new passive though, probably. New skill slot. Oh, that's yeah, passive. Blood rush. What is that about? What's the empty menace too? It's got a slocket in it. Slocket. Socket. Increase your maximum essence. Hey, yeah. Rigor mortis, no. I like that. I like the sound of that. Can get moving, moving real quickly. Because that's what we need. We need to go even faster. Faster, faster. Yes! Oh, I'm in love. This is... Every time I come back to Diablo after a huge break, I'm just so pleased. I want to upgrade the, uh, like, reduce my cooldown so I can use this Army of the Dead move more often. I see you charging. That charge move can really get you if you're not paying too much attention. Whoop, whoop, Slurpee. I think that's like, I've had at least one character off camera die to that move before. Yeah, it's, it's getting really hard to keep up with what level I am. And I, I love that. That's exactly what the point was. Getting some gems, definitely wanna. Dark, dark reaping. What is that about? Up, up. When using a scythe, gain 2% essence and life per kill. That's cool. Look at all the news. There is no Uh-oh. Guess it might be time to go back to town. I'm just having so much fun with everything we got already. Maybe what I'll do is I'll limit myself to looking at what runes we've unlocked for the things we have right now. And we'll look at our inventory to see what upgrades there might be. All right. Okay, fine. We'll look at the bone spikes. All right, good. I want to be a frost mansa. Damage taken is reduced by 1% for each revived minion active. That sounds good. Ooh, army of the dead got an upgrade. Bone golem, decay golem, blood golem. Blighted Grasp. 14,000 damage. Just does a little bit more damage, but it's poison. I mean, we might as well, uh, I guess. Consumes all essence to summon a powerful minion. The minion's damage is increased by 3% for... Oh! That sounds really neat. I like that. I like that better. So we can, like, charge it up, charge it up, charge it up, and then just go boom. But give me a try, and you won't go back. Bone spear. Nah. All right. So let's look at our inventory real quick. Oh, this is stressful. We managed to not get a chest piece. Wait, what's going on here? Let me look at this. The born set. Shoulders? Oh. Can we use the shoulders yet? What 
Why does it keep on making that? Stop it. Somebody is making a weird crunch noise. Oh, it's because my bag's full. Oh man, this is so... There we go. Even more experience. Because that's what our problem was. Alright. I think we're good to salvage. We have plenty of these. It's like not even worth selling at this point. Alright. Shoulders. We are decked the hell out. Let's sell. I've got some. I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these four. And drop off, and then we will go back. All right, back we go. Where is the Khazr Den? I always have trouble finding it for some reason. Ooh. It's like a slower AoE. Oh, I like this. This is feeling pretty good. This is feeling pretty good. I like it. Where have we not explored? <laughs> okay, Cormac. Got Jitoy. Command skeleton, dark mending. Maybe I'll look at that. Ooh. I do love seeing all this ice. That's really fun. Yes. They heal ya. How's for Dan? Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good looking. We should be summoning this big guy whenever we have uh, maximum essence. Which doesn't take very long. We can only have one at a time, though. I could probably have two. Find out. We'll try to summon two weak ones just to see what happens. Oh yeah, we can have two. So if we like could generate our essence quickly enough, like we get the scythe and things, and maybe the consume ability, we could actually get a lot of those. Like I'm sure that could be a build in and of itself. I'm seeing a lot of cool build opportunities already. You could just find the Khazr Den that would be lovely though. Please! Cursed Scythe. We haven't really used the Scythe move very much at all. I mean, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Yay! A means to level faster. Alright. Can it be this close to the portal? I don't know if there's any rule with this one. Uh oh. Some of them have like little, uh, little things where they're like usually closer to a certain thing. Get him, big boy! He seems, to, he seems like he might do a lot. I, it's hard to tell. But there's like... Because when you have that many guys hitting at the same time, it's hard to tell who's doing it. But it looks like there's a big clunk, clunk, clunk happening when he fires. So I think he does a lot. Kazradan! Nice. Hello? Anyone? Yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. 
You will fight for me, losers. It's just so sad. They, what if these guys are all like best buds? And I'm just summoning them and just like, Chad, we went to high school together. Whoop, whoop. It's okay. Chad is always the uh, the jerk, anyways, isn't he? I think the other, the the one without the rune for Army of the Dead seems better because the damage all happens at once. Uh oh. Don't worry about it, Magda. I wonder how hard it was for them to, like, think of different edgy answers for all the characters. Like, we need to respond to this, and it has to be edgy, but how will it be edgy in a different way than how the, uh, you know, the Demon Hunter is edgy? Well, whatever you say. She is more devious than she appears. I would have liked to just oh, look at this look at the little posse we got. All right, what's next? The Drowned Temple. Ah, that's right. Ooh, it's a scythe too. All right, let's go get the gem out then. Jam out and swap it. Plus, we get our first amulet. Good thought. <laughs> Thanks. Aha! Nice. Still get the benefit. No, not here. <laughs> I I always like that. I, I I know there's an option to turn that stuff off where they just they tell you, no, we. I, I can't. I like can't do that. But there's something about it that's just fun. I'm not as bad as. Drowned Temple. There's, there's always so much more in Act One that I remember. Every single time I'm like, oh, that is in this act, isn't it? I thought it was in the next one. The Drowned Temple is one where I kind of, in my head, I think that it's an Act Two thing. Whoop, whoop. We're doing a lot more damage now. Well, it'll be explained soon, Leah. Don't you worry. You there, please help. They're going to kill my friend. I'll kill him first, and then I'll bring him back. Come on. I like that that doesn't cost any, um, essence. That's one thing I really am liking about the Necromancer is all of the corpse moves use the corpse as a resource instead of something on a bar. That's just kind of cool. It was, very, it was a very smart way of going about it. Oh, it turns them into skeletons. Oh, I wanted to see just these regular guys. Nigel! I have trained well. You can't even move. <laughs> Bye, Nigel. This is the rest of the phase guild will find us yet. Yeah, right. And the scoundrel. I don't... I, I don't know. Maybe the scoundrel's better than I remember, but it's just... There's something that just feels so right about having the Templar to to guard me when I'm playing hardcore. You seem like you could use a helping hand, and I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering Oops. this criminal proposal. Nah, not really. And we got the waypoint, so that is a perfect time. To stop. And you're betrothed. After this. Betrothed. Do I betrothed. Very kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he just teleports away. Mid-sentence. 
All right, but that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Oh, look at my fun little army. Uh, Leah is just mixed in with all the skeletons. Skeletons. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. I'm glad we're still alive. Six, six episodes in? That's, you know, I could have died before this. But I, I think I'm at, I'm at, like, a power spike right now where I'm, I'm going to be pretty strong for a little while. Thank you, everybody, for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> See you next time.